1857, the French physicist Alexander Becquerel, who investigated the phenomenon of fluorescence and phosphorescence, proposed a design of a fluorescent lamp similar to those produced today. Alexander Becquerel experimented with electrical discharged glass tubes covered with fluorescent material, and this process was further developed in the design of fluorescent lamps. Peter Cooper Hewitt patented the first mercury vapor based lamp in 1901. Peter Cooper Hewitt's low pressure mercury arc lamp was one of the first prototypes of modern fluorescent lamps. Fluorescent lamps operate on the principle of mercury vapor excitation to create luminescence. For his lamp, Peter Cooper Hewitt used the works of the German physicist Julius Plucke and the glass blower Heinrich Geisler. By passing an electric current through a glass tube containing a small amount of gas, Plucke and Geisler found out that there appeared light. Peter Cooper Hewitt began to develop a mercury lamp at the end of 1890s and found that it emitted an unattractive blue-green light of very high brightness. Hewitt knew that few people wanted to have such tire lamps in their houses, therefore he focused on development of bulbs for other purposes, intended to make the bulbs for photographic studios and industrial design. George Westinghouse and Peter Cooper Hewitt created Westinghouse and Cooper Hewitt Electric Company to produce first commercial mercury lamps. These arc lamps use mercury vapor enclosed in a glass flask, and that was the first type of a closed arc lamp using metal vapor. In 1934, Edmund Germer invented a high pressure lamp, which gave a much brighter light in a small space. Edmund Germer is considered by some historians to be the first inventor of the present fluorescent lamps. However, it can also be said that fluorescent lamps had a long history of development before Germa, but from that moment on, fluorescent lamps have widely spread, both in households and in industry.